I'm Joy Kent with Beauty Fashion Simply. I'm your fashion optician, teaching you how to see design lines and colors that take you from plain Jane to proud Mary. This is my video series called Design Lines, Friend or Foe, where I help you identify design lines on outfits. I'm also going to explain what body elements are enhanced by each one. This way, when you go to your closet or go out shopping, you can start identifying design lines. And as you start understanding your body elements, you can determine if they're gonna work for you. So what design lines are we looking at? We're looking at the silhouette, the ones that create a horizontal line, vertical line, and the shape of the design lines. I'm having my assistant, Mary, model clothes that you can find at Macy's. Today, she is modeling a dress by Vince Komodo and a handbag from INC. This outfit is one that Alice is going to be wearing to the New Year's Eve party she and her friends have created. They are wanting to celebrate their accomplishments this year and stepping into the next one. Let's, the first design line that we're gonna talk about is the silhouette. The silhouette is the outside line of an outfit. There are two categories. You have your angular and your curved. The angular category, the shoulders, the waist, and the hips appear to be all the same width. While the curved category, the waist is significantly smaller than both the shoulders and the hips. The body element that gives you clues to which category is best for you is your body shape. Body shapes come into the same two categories, angular or curved. Basically, angular category, the waist isn't significantly smaller than both the shoulders and the hips, while the curved, the waist is significantly smaller than both the shoulders and the hips. Alice has a V body shape where her shoulders are the widest part and then it goes down to her waist and her hips. So this really falls into the angular category. This dress is more of an angular category dress because when you hold it up, then the, weight, the, the silhouette is straight up and down because Alice has a curved body shape and the material in the skirt is net. It also molds around her body. Sometimes for Alice, the bottom part might feel a little big. So she can always get that um, taken in so that it fits her hip area perfectly. The next design line that we're gonna talk about are the ones that create a horizontal line. Horizontal lines, they're gonna stop your eye, emphasize that area, make it appear a little wider and a little shorter. The two body elements that give you clues to the placement of these lines, body shape and body proportion. For body shape, you don't want to place it in your widest area, but you do want to place it in areas that are smaller. For Alice, she has a V body shape. Her widest area is her shoulders, so she doesn't want to place it in her shoulder area. For body proportions, you don't want to place it in your shortest area because you're going to be um, making that area look shorter, but you do want to do it in your longest area because it creates balance in that area. Alice is short between her chin and her bust and long between her waist and her crotch. Her torso and her legs are the same proportions. 
So let's look at this dress. It has horizontal lines that go up in the on the lower part of her neck and then at right at the neckline. This could be problematic for Alice. One thing she has to consider does she have is she shorter is the shortness caused by her neck or between her um, the shoulders and the the bust line because this doesn't go all the way out to the uh, shoulders it's not it's giving some width but it's not as bad as having a line that goes straight across the one thing that this dress has going for it there's a lot of vertical lines and we'll talk about the vertical lines in the next section. The next horizontal line is right at the waist. This is perfect for her body shape because it's going to create balance between her waist and her shoulders. For body um, proportions, this is a great place also. This is at the beginning of where she's short or where she's long and so it does create it does help make this area look or appear sh shorter but wearing a dress it's really hard to know where the torso ends and the legs begin so body proportion wise this works perfectly there's also a horizontal line created by the handbag right at the hips this is perfect because it creates a balance with the shoulders and her hips. And then finally, the hemline right above her knees. Because her legs and torso are the same width length, then she can actually wear a hem anywhere she wants because is always going to be balanced with the the torso area the next design line that we're going to talk about is the vertical lines vertical lines move your eye up and down make that area look thinner and taller the two body elements that give you clues to the placement of these lines, body shape and body proportions. So body shape, you do want to place vertical lines in areas that you are wide because it's going to make them appear thinner. You don't want to put them in areas where you already really thin because it's going to make that area be more out of balance with your wider area. With Alice being a V-body shape, horizontal lines in her shoulder area are perfect. For her body proportions, she is short between her chin and her bust, and having vertical lines in this area gives length at the same time as making the area look thinner. Vertical lines between her waist and her crotch are not so great because it's going to make that area look even longer and make her hip area look even thinner. So let's look at this outfit. There are a lot of horizontal lines or vertical lines between the chin and the chest created by the um, the halter top or is a type of raglan sleeve and then also there are lots and lots of pleats going up and down that are weight radiating out this is also these are also creating vertical lines as a result in this area she's getting length and she's getting more thinner and more proportion so this dress is perfect for her shoulder area. Now let's look at the other pores or vertical line is created by the handbag. 
and this dress, there really is not any other vertical line. If she was wearing a pair of pants, this could be problematic because you're doing through the crotch area and then it's the horizontal line is created in this area also. So that creates length with between the waist and the crotch. But because this is a dress, it's totally fine. The next body element or the next design line that we're gonna look at is the design line shape. The last design line I'm gonna talk about is design line shape. There are two categories. You have an angular where the, you see lots of angles or a curve where the lines just flow. The body element that gives you clues as to which category works best for you is your face shape. If you have an angular face shape, you wanna go for angular lines. If you have a curved face shape, you wanna go for the curved lines. So where do you find these design lines? They come on outfits, such as necklines, collars, lapels, pockets, cuffs, and just design lines sewn into any outfit. They come from accessories like jewelry, handbags, shoes, and then prints. So let's look at this dress that Alice picked out. With design lines, there's really only two of them that we can look at. And first is the accessory of the handbag. As you can tell, it's very angular. And then it also has this weave pattern on front, and that is also angular. The other design line it has is the print, There's, is the skirt. It has sequence sewn on in a very angular pattern. So when it comes to design line shape, Alice did a perfect job. All in all, in picking this outfit, Alice is understanding her body elements. She has picked out most of the design lines that enhance it. The only question is the neckline of this dress because it does create horizontal lines in the neck area. What she needs to consider are two things. One, is she short, is her neck short? Is that where the shortness comes in this area or is the shortness come from the shoulders down to the bust. The other thing to consider is the vertical line because there's a lot of vertical lines in this area which will create height. When Alice puts this on, her neck area is average for her height and these vertical lines do the job to creating the length. She is so excited about going to the New Year's Eve party with her friends to celebrate their accomplishments and bringing in the new year. I've showed you the design lines on this outfit. The ones that create the silhouette, horizontal lines, vertical lines, and then the shape of the design lines. I hope you see clothes and design lines with a whole new perspective. If you like what you saw, subscribe and share it with your friends. I'll be uploading a new video every Wednesday. If you want to learn more about design lines and identifying them, then download my free ebook, Seven Steps to Evaluate Clothes. The link is below. Finally, do you want to learn more about the outfit that Alice picked and all the outfits that her friends picked? There's a link below to go to the blog post. Why is it important to understand design lines? Because clothes change how you feel. 
they can help you feel like you can conquer your world. As a result, you're able to pursue your passions, create impact, and make this world a better place to live. Go out and wear your greatness.